Hello, this is Larry Stoll from Pace Turf, and today I'd like to show you an iPhone application called the iStimp. Yep, the, you heard me right. It's a stimp meter application for the iPhone. It's hard to believe that you could do that, but you actually use the uh, iPhone to hold the ball and roll it off the front and to give you an approximate stimp meter reading for a green uh, based on the characteristics of the iPhone and some work that has been done by the people at iGolfApps.com. So let's take a look and see how it works. Before we start with the eye stimp, here is a real stimp meter in operation. The bar is lifted until 20 degrees where the ball naturally rolls out of a notch at the top of the bar. Three balls are launched in one direction on a level piece of green and then they are launched in the opposite direction and the average of all those uh, meter readings is the stimp meter reading for that particular green. And also, consider that it's measuring the average motion over the entire length, the 10 to 12 feet that the balls roll. The iStimp uses the home button on the iPhone and your thumbs and the angle or the clinometer uh, functions of the phone to determine when to release the ball. Once the phone is lifted up to 30 degrees, you release with your thumbs. In this accelerated vision here, you then uh, go to a centimeter ruler that uh, is provided and it allows you to measure using your iPhone and a, and a T uh, the distance that the ball traveled. Once you get to the end of that, uh, that measurement and you measure to the center of the ball, you'll find out what the stint meter reading and this on this piece of AstroTurf the stint meter reading is 12.7 feet. The people at iGolfApps.com recommend that you take four separate readings and those readings will be averaged by the software to give you an overall reading for the green. In an effort to speed the process, we looked a little bit at the uh, calculations that are being conducted by the software and we found out that to get the same readings, you can just measure the distance traveled by the ball in inches and divide by two to get the iStimp reading. This will allow you to use a simple ruler or a stick or a pointer, something that's uh, got increments on it, that would allow you to get a rapid reading on the stint meter reading. We took a pointer and marked off every two inches and put the number of feet uh, that would be traveled uh, in stint for these uh, examples here. And in, in this simple um, illustration shows you that you could probably use a putter or you could use a tape measure, a variety of things uh, that would make it more rapid for you to uh, measure the distance that the ball traveled. If this uh, device uh, becomes popular, you're going to want to encourage people to figure out how to measure these things more rapidly. Well, now you have a, an idea of how the eye stimp works. It's measuring a small portion of the green and interpolating out to the rest of the, the rest of the area. With a stimp meter, when you tilt the bar, it rolls 10 feet in one direction. Three meters are taken in one direction, the full 10 feet. Are, are evaluated if the green stimping at 10 feet and they roll the other direction. So you're getting a very large area that's evaluated on a green. With the eye stimp, uh, a green that's stimping 10 is only going to move 20 inches on the eye stimp. So it's a much smaller uh, sample of the green each time you use the eye stimp. I think that's going to cause some frustration with golfers and people who are using the, uh, the eye stimp to, uh, to get a reading on what the green speed is. This application it, rates just above an application that was very popular early on with the iPhones, uh, especially with the with the younger male uh, audiences, and that was called Fart for Free. And you can tell this would be an application that wouldn't be all that popular on a golf course. And I'm thinking that uh, the eye stimp is going to have the same effect. If you walk up to a green and you have someone trying to stimp a green, taking maybe six to eight minutes to try to get a a stimp meter reading using their phone on the green uh, is going to be difficult. Maybe there's a, a way to enforce your uh, your cell phone policies. You know, no cell phones to be used as stimp meters would uh, would work. But I'm I'm sure golfers will find out after a short time working with the eye stimp that they'll have much better success uh, with their short game when they spend some time on the practice green at the site during the day that they're going to play golf than they are trying to figure out how to make your iPhone measure green speed. Well, I hope you enjoyed this short look at the iStimp, and if we see some other applications for the iPhone that'll, uh, that'll be valuable to you at the golf course, we'll let you know. 